Hi, my name is Lisa Copen, and I am the founder of RestMinistries.com. We are a Christian organization for people who live with chronic illness or pain. And when someone asked me recently why I decided to become a health activist, I had to kind of think about that because that wasn't a title I ever really thought of or went after. To be honest with you, I wanted to be in a profession where I felt like I was doing something worthy, helping people, because that was always a desire of mine. And yet in college I worked as a volunteer in different organizations such as the Rape Crisis Network and at a battered women's shelter. And I felt like there was a disconnect there because I hadn't actually walked in the shoes that those women were walking in. Thank goodness. But still, I felt like I couldn't completely say, I've been there. I also wasn't able to really share my faith. And for me, my faith in the Lord is what gets me through every day. And know that my, knowing that my suffering does have a purpose in this world is what gets me out of bed many mornings. So I began Rest Ministries after being diagnosed with chronic illness in um, 1993. That was rheumatoid arthritis and I was the age of 24 and it came as quite a surprise and yet although I was scared about what the future held I also felt like in some ways God had answered my calling for me that I was searching for about how to connect with people who I had walked in those shoes. And I am now wearing those orthopedic, ugly, black, diabetic looking shoes. <laughs> so, although I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a health activist, I certainly know that I have made a difference in the online community. Since 1996, we have been on the internet. That's back when we did um, our websites in Word, <laughs> then moved up to the front page, and then Dreamweaver, and now WordPress. It's been interesting to see how social media has impacted not only the way people reach out to each other, but how I myself, who has a chronic illness and physical limitations, are able to reach out to others. And video is a part of that, which is one of the questions someone also asked. So I hope that I have made a difference. In 2002, I started National Invisible Chronic Illness Awareness Week. And in that position, I've been able to reach out to people who live with all kinds of chronic illness across the, across the world. It's exciting. We have a virtual conference every year online connecting people who would never be able to travel and connect with each other in a seminar setting in a single room. We've also been able to bring in speakers from all over the world who have all kinds of specialties from careers to working with a chronic illness, um, being an attorney, all different things where people are looking for answers how to deal with their disabilities. So thank you for sharing this time with me. Don't hesitate to drop by my website at restministries.com. Thanks.